In the 19th century, before germ theory, we believed that disease was caused by air that was polluted. We believed in this evil air so much that we shunned Dr. Snow's theory that the water in London was causing outbreaks of cholera. Because don't be silly, it was the wind that caused the disease, not water. This is the story of miasma theory. Welcome back to the channel guys and to Crazy Medical History. My name is Kieran, I'm a junior doctor and a comedian working in Manchester. As always, if you're new and this is your first time, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss any videos. Before our understanding of microbes, what did humans think caused disease? Well, they weren't quite sure, but miasma proposed an answer. Miasma was a poisonous air filled with particles from decomposted matter, or miasmata. The idea was that this corrupted air would be causing disease. The idea of miasma also forms the name of the disease malaria, which literally translates to bad air. The infamous angelical nurse Florence Nightingale also strongly believed in miasma theory and was quite keen on making sure that the hospitals smell good to try and prevent disease. Florence Nightingale thought that scarlet fever, measles and smallpox were all caused by the drains running underneath the houses, the foul smell which would rise up and infect the inhabitants. Miasma didn't just travel through air, it was the air, the infectious air that was causing disease. Looking back now and understanding the way that bacteria grow, you can understand why some of these measures that would have eradicated the smell may have actually helped in preventing disease. So it's easy to look back and say actually some of these measures may have made some difference and you can see why people actually believed this. Even the Indians invented pan to try and combat miasma. Pan is an edible leaf that you to contain a gambier paste. This paste was used to freshen the mouth to prevent the miasma from getting in. The Black Death began in Asia and travelled through trade routes to Europe in the 1300s. It was the biggest pandemic that the world has ever seen and is thought to have killed almost 200 million people. Once again it was thought that miasma spread this disease but actually now we know it was the fleas that are found on black rats. You may have seen doctors wearing these long outfits, these masks with the massive beaks. The reason they did that is to prevent them from smelling the disease. What happened is they used to put some scented flowers or incense in the end of that beaked mask so that they would be inhaling the nice smell of these flowers rather than the smell of the disease. Eventually, quarantine and hygiene measures helped end the plague. Does that sound familiar? Dr. John Snow, no, not that John Snow, this John Snow did actually know something. You know nothing, John Snow. You know nothing, John Snow. That was terrible. Dr. John Snow, an anaesthetist, noticed a high incidence of cholera around an area surrounding a water pump. He then removed the handle of this water pump and the number of cholera cases around that pump absolutely plummeted. He also noted that the number of deaths from cholera was six times higher from one water company than another water company. So he put his findings together and sent it to an inquiry. At the time, people still strongly believed in miasma. The inquiry said they had no reason to adopt the belief and that they knew that cholera multiplied in the air rather than in the water. John Snow died of a stroke in 1858 and it wasn't until after his death that people accepted his theory of cholera spreading in water. He saved a countless number of lives and actually was the start of disproving miasma theory. Like a staphylococcus encountering a penicillin, miasma theory soon died out as soon as germ theory came into play and our understanding of microbes got even better. Nowadays, the only air that kills is from the backside of my gran after she's eaten a plate of Brussels sprouts. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. That was a snippet of miasma theory. If you haven't seen my other videos, make sure to check out the theory of the four humours and the bloodletting video. If you enjoyed this, you'll really enjoy that one as well. As always, my name is Kieran. I'm a junior doctor and a comedian. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with future videos. Take care, guys, and stay safe.